Hello friends, today we're going to check out this Mirrors Smart Wi-Fi Outdoor Plug. Welcome to this new video. So before we start, I have to mention that Mirrors sent me this power plug in order to show it on my channel. But as always, I give you my honest opinion. So you can see it has all the certificates. So let's first unbox it and then talk about all the specifications. So there is this model with the power plugs in the front and there's also the MSS 620S and the S model has the power plugs downwards. So depending on how you want to install the power plug, if you install it like this, not like wall outlets or if you want to hang it downwards with the plugs like this. You can see there's a main on off switch but you can also control each power plug individually in HomeKit of course. Now the housing is IP44 rated so it is protected against the water splashed from all directions. It is compatible with Apple Home, Google Home, SmartThings and it works with Alexa as well. It works over 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and it is rated 10 amps maximum. Now the operating temperature of this device is minus 10 degrees Celsius up to 40 degrees Celsius which is 14 degrees Fahrenheit up to 104 Fahrenheit. But the storage stand even goes down to minus 40 degrees Celsius. So really straightforward, plug and play with the home kit code right over here. Ideal to smarten up your dump devices outdoors like a normal outdoor light string fountain, music installation, whatsoever. So you can see the length of the power cord and it also has this little rubber ring in order to attach it with a screw to the wall or fence or pole. Now I will plug it in my wall outlet indoors first in order to connect it to my home kit and when everything is set up correctly I will only put it in the garden on its final place. It's plugged in, now let's go to the mirrors application and add it to my setup. When I open the mirrors application you see all my mirrors devices. Let's add a new one. Let's add the smart outdoor plug and here you can see all the different smart outdoor plugs that exists. So I have this MSS 620 series right here. The light is blinking as shown over here. So that's interesting, here you can see that it has also a matter version and a home kit version. I will opt for the Apple version. All the other mirrors devices work with uh, Apple home kit over Wi-Fi as well. Now let's scan the code. There you go. So the on off button stop blinking and it's solid green and now it just turned red and now it's green again so let's choose the place where it should be it's in the garden and now we can give it its separate name so one So of course you can give it a name of a specific dev device like fountain or outdoor lamp. It's up to you. 
and we are all done. So I can link it with other ecosystems if I want, but that's not for me. And here I have my smart outdoor plug, which I have to update it first, I see. It did it update, the status light on the device blinked and then turned off and on and now it's all done. We can go back and check out the smart plug itself. So here you can see that I can, tr can control my both outlets individually. Let's check out the settings itself. You can take a picture if you want, or use the default logo, change the name. It seems that you can turn off the status light of the power plug, but it seemed to bug and remain on all the time. And here I can see my Wi-Fi signal and network specifics. So that's really straightforward. So this status light stays on all the time. It, in the application, the setting to turn it off bugs. So let's hope that they repair it with a future update as well. In the application, I can control the outlets individually, but there isn't a button to control the main. So like my power indoor strip, and I'll share the video link up here. There's also a main switch where you can turn off everything in once. Here I can only control the outlet separately. Now let's check in the home application, what it looks like. So let's go to the garden. Here I can see my new outlet, smart outdoor plug. And there isn't a way to control both outlets within HomeKit together neither, so you can only toggle one on or off. Now it's nice to see that when both outlets are off, the LED light is off as well. When I switch one power outlet on, you can see the light lights on this side, and when I turn the other one on, the light shines on that side. You can even visually see which power outlet is on. And when I turn both on, the light is completely on. So that's a nice little detail. For the reaction speed, you can see it is almost immediate. And my experience with all mirrors devices is that they are quite reliable. I have a lot of mirrors devices in my house, almost all over Wi-Fi, and I seldomly get uh, no response error. I've installed my outdoor power plug into my power outlet outside and this small power cord goes to my fountain. So now let's rename everything so that I can control my fountain with this power outlet. Now we go to the home application again. We go to the power outlet and you can see that I already renamed my first outlet right here. I want to show it as a different towel. So now I can see my fountain is off and my second power outlet is off as well. And when I turn this on, you'll hear that the fountain turned just on. Now, the only thing I have to do is reconfigure my automations Therefore, I go to this one, and here I can see the automation turn on every day at 5 o'clock when I'm at home. I will select the fountain. And I will remove the power. Now when we go to the fountain, what do 
do I have here? Turn on every day when I'm at home and turn off after 50 minutes. Overall, a really handy device, easy to install, almost plug and play for only 36 euros. And if you use my reduction voucher in the video comments, you even get a great discount. It's really nice to add and to smarten up your garden. So let me know in the comments what you think about it. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the very next video. Bye bye.